Hello again. Yes, yes, I know. Here we are in the middle of December. We should have no business being outside, but it is pretty nice. So we're going to be outside uh, for lunch today. And, and this is a California Cabernet from Sonoma. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now, this particular bottling is the half mile bottling. And you see the number on this, 2640. 2,640 feet, that's half a mile. It's made by Obsidian. Also, that's that's the winery in uh, in Sonoma, all the way at the top near the volcanic soils. And this is the story here. This is a, a place that was started by three co-founders probably on 20 years ago. And then uh, they may have some Hungarian uh, links, but we'll talk about that. And, and they uh, chose that area it was one of those things, making a bet on an under-recognized area, very volcanic, lots of obsidian rock shooting through it, uh, higher elevation, sort of poor growing soil in general, but they figured they could make some special wine out of it. And they did. And so they started the Obsidian Wine uh, Company. And they're basically their flagship is this half mile uh, bottling, which is really growing at half mile elevation sort of a little bit above, a little bit below. There's three different kind of sections of the vineyard. It's 80 to 90% Cabernet with a little bit of Petit Verdot and Petit Syrah, you know, based on the uh, assemblage, depending on the on the year. This is a 2013. And, and it's, uh, so it's really got the combination of some of the lower elevations, gentler slope, you know, maybe more expressive sort of fruity wines and some of the stuff that's high elevation, which interestingly enough, sometimes gets more warmth, uh, more sun, and, and, and then the ones that are higher elevation, they get more, you know, they get cold and have a thicker skin and all that kind of good stuff. So it's just, and the bar they pick the best barrels every year to make this half mile bottling. They have other Cabernets as well. They have their, their Cabernet, which is very good. This is how I got to know them. I tasted the Cabernet. And then, and then I, when I was in Napa, I, I saw them uh, in one of the, in, in Sonoma, they were doing uh, tastings for their wine. So I tasted this half mile, and this is where uh, I bought it. Uh, they uh, I spoke about Hungary a little bit. They have a cooperage in Hungary, in the Tokaj area, really very old growth, slow growth oak. That's about the slowest growing oak in the world. Very similar to the French oak, but even slower growing. So it is, actually even uh, an even thinner and, and, and denser grain. And I think as a result, you get almost, you know, you probably get less exchange between the wine and the oak, but you get the oaking and uh, very little vanilla in that specific oak. And so they make their barrels and they use them and they use not a lot of all, uh, new barrels. So it's really kind of, they look at this whole holistic Thing. They want to own the grapes, they want to, they want to own the, the oak, they want to own the barrels, and they want to try to figure out each year what's the best combination to provide the, the best wine. It is a, a uh, it sort of an 18 month, you know, a, a, a barrel aging, then the wine is bottled. It's not a super well known uh, property, but they do make really uh, some good wines. Let's see what we have here. This is just very, very dark. You can tell it's a Cabernet. On the nose, it's typical Cabernet, you know, blue and uh, red fruit. And that sort of, that sweetness a little bit that is, that you can tell, you know, is coming from the uh, California Cabernets. Uh, let's see about the alcohol on this. Uh, this is 14.7% alcohol, so it's sort of what you expect. Two th 2013 was the second of the big, years in California, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There was also during the drought. So there was some, you know, uh, uh, sort of intensity to the to the wines. Let me just give it a little bit more. Okay. It's cold out, so it's hard harder to... It's really just subdued, but you can tell the fruits there, and it's got a little bit of that restrained that I kind of like, which is hard to, to get uh, often in California uh, wines. Hmm. It's pretty peppery. 
and I really like that. It's kind of unusual in the Cabernet. The front, you know, it's funny. The front is just a little bit disappointing at the beginning. You feel like you're, the wine separates in like a little bit of water and a lot of wine. And I don't know how to describe that. But then it comes together. And on the finish, you've got that pepperiness. You've got the fruit. You've got the acidity. The tannins are very, very, very fine. And I, and I think they, and I listen, and actually I, I, I was, uh, I attended a, a seminar online where we were talking about that, that, that wood. They talk much more about the wood than about the wine, which is kind of interesting because of this whole technique about how you age wine, what kind of uh, oak you pick, and what's the impact of the oak on the on the wine. And they do really work on that. And this is you feel that in the in the sort of in the in the tannins of the wine, they're very very fine, and that comes from the oak. And you don't have any of that oakiness, you know, what that you, we associate with vanilla. It's getting better every day. It's been open for three or four days. Still vigorous. You've got the, the really fine tannins, the pepper, as I said, and it stays on the finish. The, the palate is just really fruity and, and and very pleasant, but but you know, you can you can you know you can actually eat it with a wider range of food. This is not like the super strong cabinet that you have to have with a steak. It is a little mellower than that, and maybe it's the age, maybe it's the way they make it, but it is very pleasant and, and a very nice Cabernet uh, from this uh, interesting property. Cheers.